This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly.com, Barterby.com, and Domocon. Domocon kills a kitten every time you masturbate. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. Well, that's a pile of okay. for Why do you have <laughs> flies in the freaking house? I've noticed this out earlier. It's Southern California and I have fruit. This is my favorite story of all time. All right, moving on. You put <laughs> zombie and you put theory in the title and I don't want to do it. Theory zombie Kevin. Dignation.com. Welcome to Dignation, episode number 42. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user-submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com, D-I-G-G dot com. Yes. Uh, number 42. Number 42. We are the uh, answer to all things right now. Yes. And it's also 420 as well. Uh, will, the symbolism never stop. Well, you know, you know what's up with 420. I know you do. What time is it? It's 4.08. Ah, we got a few minutes still. A few minutes. So let's move on with the show. Yes. We are here in uh, San Fran. Yep, we're here in San Francisco. Yep. Uh, sitting on the couch. Um, not much Just has changed. sitting on the couch, doing nothing but sitting. It feels weird sitting in this location, because we've always been like, kind of had our backs turned to the fireplace, and now yeah. we're in a different spot. Well, it's but, just uh, a white wall. It's kind of not, you know, but we were thinking, you know what? This is going to be such an engaging show. Oh, Yes. I'll be excited. I'll be excited once we get it. Well, we've been drinking before. Yes. We should we should say we have been drinking before the episode. So do we have uh, to say that? I guess well, legally we I have to. We're obligated. To, there's there's to a disclaimer. <laughs> but uh, let's say Kevin has a drinking. No, before. well it's it's a celebratory it's day. Easter. Happy Easter. Yes, Easter. Happy was Passover. Fun. What did you do for Easter? Uh, I had a a party that was sort of at like a house? hodgepodge. Well, it wasn't at my house. It was at my girlfriend's house. But mm-hmm. it was sort of a hodgepodge of people. Mm-hmm. Hedge page, as it were, with a lot of Minnesotans. Yep. It's not true at all. Uh, yes, it was fun. <laughs> nice. Did what you, about you? Uh, just kissing <gasps> the chupacabra, as it were. No, <laughs> I, I just, I, uh, you know, what did I do for Easter? Oh, oh I did some crazy shit Easter, on Easter. Easter, Easter, let's see, Jesus. <laughs> we did, Keith, we did some Jesus. crazy shit on Easter. No, who's on the Easter one? No. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, can I get another host? No, no, like, can no, I get no, no, like, no. Could somebody else? Sorry, sorry. Keith was insane on Easter. It was pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you were, dude. And you weren't. It sounds like there's yeah. some drug-induced no, Easter no, 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 habits no, that I no. missed. It's not like there's we were like... Easter egg hunts no, and... No, it, was, uh, it wasn't like we were on acid. Finding the like, bunny like, as it were. No, no, no. We just like... We, we it partied. It was just some mild hallucinogenics. <laughs> oh, no. We had some fish. Yes. Fish, fish, fish. No, there was actually a dig story about people that eat fish and hallucinate. I don't know. I don't know what that was. People go do stuff all over the place. Can't you, like, lick lizards and get crazy? You can. I've never tried that. I love Kevin. Kevin's like, oh, I love that. This lizard's just like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, I would not lick a lizard to, like, see (laughs) shit. Dude, honestly, if there was a, if somebody came to you and was like, dude, and there was, like, a lizard in, like, a, I don't know, a Ziploc bag or something, and it was just sort of, like, chilling, and he was like, seriously, this is good lizard. If you if you lick this, you're totally cool. You would so lick the lizard. No, dude. You'd be like Led Zeppelin with the lizard. Dude, no, 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 no. I would not lick a lizard to get some kind of hallucinogen. You would lick a one-eyed lizard. No. Well, what's the difference if somebody gives you a pill that's like made from the scales of a lizard well, than dude, actually like licking the? Is lizard? it legal? I don't know. It's a lizard. You can't <laughs> illegalize lizards, right? If it's legal, I don't know. Keith would probably have to try it first. No. Keith, you're down with lizards, man. I don't lick them. You have a lizard. Keith has I don't his. Lick it. He has his. Keith has a big, lizard. Dude, he has this big ass lizard. What? Where? It's it's at his house, his parents' house. Oh, I was like, iguana. how it, have I iguana. been here and never seen no, 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 this? No, no, no. You don't understand. Lizard. This thing is like this. <laughs> One night, I was, I was staying over at his house because, like, we were trying to find a place in San Francisco. Is it going to be an uncomfortable no, story? No, no, no. We, okay, we were staying at his parents' house. And this thing, like, it takes a shit outside. Like, it walks down the stairs. And it goes outside, and then it comes back in. And you're like, what the fuck? Your lizard's, like, trained and shit? It's crazy shit, man. Does it, like, get stuff for him? Or? <laughs> it's weird. It has, like, its own little perch. And, like, Dan was sleeping under it. He's like, I'm not sleeping underneath this motherfucker because he's big. Like, who knows what the hell he's going to do at, like, 2 a.m., right? Dude, the lizard is huge. Uh, like, you haven't seen it, man. What do you see this thing? <laughs> 
Keith's got a Dude, you got his, lizard. You gotta see Keith's lizard. It's huge. <laughs> it has its own freaking solar system. Nah, you dude. gotta see this. Nah, I'm not going there with Keith's lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. All right, all we right. We haven't talked about a story yet. <clears throat> beers. Clearly, we've been having <laughs> beers. Uh, I am drinking the Red Tail, which seems to be some sort of hawk lager. It's <laughs> a big ass hawk on it. It's just a big like. It's like a hawk. Oh shit! Parker's got a picture of his lizard. <laughs> no, stop. Dude, turn Nobody, that thing No, we is. don't need to see anybody's lizard. Yes. Uh, this is a lager, and it uh, the legend grows. <laughs> you just made that up, is it? A, That's oh, weird. Legend does grow. Say. Uh, I am on Peroni again this week because there was leftovers in the fridge. Um, nice. Although you yeah, had I did a try uh, apricot amber fizzimfa. Yeah. Well, here it is, right? There, there. This pyramid. Uh, why is there still beer? This is Prager's. That's Prager's. Don't drink there's, that. There's a, a pyramid apricot, which is good. It actually tastes like apricots. So I don't get that. Why do you want your beer to taste like anything other than beer? It's for people that don't like, drink a lot. So you, know, you had one? No. I. You know, I'm, I'm down with apricots. I like them. Sure. They're good I, little snacks. <laughs> they are. You can get them at you can get them at uh, Trader Joe's. They have them there. No, like you the... totally just had drunk, lost train of thought. No, they're You're like you know. <laughs> Dan, Dan gets them as snacks, and we eat them sometimes, and they're good. I like apricots. Let's move on. Can we get to the first story? You're sad. Okay. The first story, there, Captain save, Drunky. Save. You are drunk. Save two hundred dollars in two minutes. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> you are drunk. Um, save $200 in two minutes and have the world's best writing pen. 2,460 people dug the story submitted by Gerand. He says, transform a $3 pen into a $200 pen in just seconds. Mont Blanc pens are the world's finest writing pens, and they are made specific... Uh, but they are... <laughs> hold on! But they make specific refills so that you must buy their $200 pens to use their amazing ink until now. This is a really cool story. So here's what happened. If you're not familiar with the world of like high class, like writing utensils, like pens. Sure. There is a brand called Mont Blanc that you can like, you, you find it in like, if you ever go to like, you know, downtown San Francisco or any like kind of like little posh like, like shopping watch area. Watch shops have it for some Yeah, reason. like watch yeah. shops, stuff like that. <laughs> they, well, they make watches too. There's like these, this <laughs> brand, there. there's this brand called uh, Mont Blanc that has this like little star at the end. They're, it's a waste of freaking money. Like why are you going to spend $200 in a pen, right? Sure. But... Here's the deal. They're great, like writing utensils. They actually do spend a lot of money in, like you know, the the ink and the quality of the the uh, the pen. So what happened is somebody found a way to go buy one of those cheap pens, like the ten dollar pens that you can get at like Office Depot. Yeah. Then use the the refills that you would normally use to refill a Mont Blanc. So it's going to cost you uh, twenty bucks, or no, it's like fourteen bucks for the refills. Yeah. You put it in this pen. It fits perfectly huh. in a certain type of pen, and now you have a two hundred dollar pen for like fourteen bucks. Okay, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, is it the ink that makes the pen yeah. or the pen? A little bit of both. So... Well, no, here's the deal. Most people buy this crap because they're like, I want a Mont Blanc pen. I want to have that. It's like designer jeans and shit like that where like you want to have like people buy it for the little symbol or something like that, you know? But you don't get that with this. No, no, you get the $12 <laughs> pen. <laughs> but, so basically it looks like you have a shitty $12 pen, but it writes like a $200 Right, pen. exactly. So it's like, you know... So let me ask you this. It's a good little hack, right? It's okay. It's mm -hmm. a little... It's okay. Uh, uh, I, it's a pen. I know. I do. Trust me. There's a lot... I mean, I have like there's people starving. You're going to spend $200 and... in a pen? Well, I don't know why more. people do that crap. It really it kind of pisses me off. All right, here's on. a good example of why you would want to do it. What? Seriously, Keith? Like, why are you going to spend $200 on a freaking pen? You can get mad later, but let's just say, here's an example of when you might want to do this. Dad's, my dad's company, right? Mm -hmm. They do, they sign like big, you know, lots of money contracts with, with big people like Sirius Satellite Radio, good example. Mm -hmm. Well, whenever they sign a contract, they buy That's Mont Blanc pens and have them engraved with the yeah. company that they're signing so that they give them as a gift at the signing of this contract the pen that they signed the contract with. I don't know. Just use the the cheap big pens. Well, how's that going to look if you come up to the series and you're like, could you sign it this for like me it, launching it the satellite? Like... It's a big pen. Yeah, but you then know, we this, had at least our my know, secretary cut with a yeah, but you know what? Razor that says you. serious. They're gonna respect you because when they when they when they sit down and they're like about to sign it, and you hand them a big pen, and they go, they're gonna what be the like, "Fuck is this? No, I'm no, no, going no. over to the French people." No, they're gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, "At least you're keeping it real," and they're gonna sign it and it's gonna be a done deal, right? Ron, you know what I'm talking about. How's Ron? Ron and I don't know. He's watching us. It's weird. 
<laughs> no one doesn't watch us. <laughs> He's like getting paranoid and stuff. No, it's 420. I'm allowed to get paranoid. Okay, good time. Here we go. Man ticketed for changing a light from red to green. I've actually tried this, but go ahead. 2,597 people dug the story submitted by Gior. Running late to work? Change the lights. It keeps you from being late. So here's the deal. This guy bought <clears throat> off of eBay mm -hmm. some sort of weird strobe device called an Opticon yes. that changes the lights from red to green, right. or probably vice versa. It just probably at, you know puts them into the cycle. Right. I'm assuming. Do you know how this works exactly or why it works? No. I can give you a little background like real quick. Sure. Uh, Ambulances, when they're going down the street, oh. they have a strobe light right in front that goes at mm -hmm. this exact rate. And there's these little sensors. If you take a look at the light, uh, like when you're driving through an intersection, there'll be these little sensors that sit on top of the lights. Sure. And they, they detect that like from an ambulance, so they'll change the lights to let the ambulances through. So basically, people have started to make this exact like timing chip to get that exact uh, strobe yeah. uh, per second or how many so flashes like per the, second. it's a little bit like the 2600 hertz tone that you could do back in the back days. Back for the like, yeah. talking free on the phones. Yeah, right. but basically it just flashes X number of times per second. And they've been making devices and selling them on eBay legally and stuff like that. So this guy bought a device two years ago for 100 bucks off eBay. And he just got caught like two days ago. See, I thought you'd go to jail for something like that. But he got <laughs> well, a fine? Well, no. He got a $50 fine for illegally or for... What was it? Uh, a man been ticketed for suspicious suspicion of interfering with a traffic signal. So they can't really prove that he did anything. Right. Because they, they didn't, I mean, it's not like they got footage of him like, eh, oh, it's green. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, but they did confiscate it and say this is illegal to have. And he was like, oh, I didn't, uh, okay. Right. You get one of those, well, right? Where you're like, oh, oh, this no, is, actually, what's the ganja, what? I don't... No, dude, I, I'd actually heard that they uh, arrest people for this kind of stuff, so I never bought one. But well, now on March I, 29th, he was if cited. I, if I'd have known it was a $50 ticket... He said that it saved his life. He was like, dude, I've been using this thing for two years. It's the best thing that ever happened. He's like, awesome. it, it paid for itself like three <laughs> days awesome. in. That's great. Dude, how great would that be? You're going and you're like, oh, I hate this. Beep, flip, it's flip, flip, cool. Flip, flip. It's it's a cool little device, and there's been there's like uh, like uh, all different types of plans and things like that that you can find online to build your own schematics, if you will. Schematics, schematics. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, I got into watching Doctor Who. Oh, but speaking of, well, it has nothing to do with Doctor Who. That game you recommended last week sucks. Dude, you are Dude. just a moron. No, Keith, you saw Your it. Your attention span what, is poo. What's that? What's the name of that game? What was it? Uh, Oblivion, Oblivion, which is unbelievable. Like you got Get paid. It. Are you getting paid by Oblivion people? I wish I was getting paid by <laughs> Oblivion people, and I am not getting paid by Oblivion people. I, I bought it because you said I'll take get it off your hands. I don't have a copy. Well, I'm going to return it because I bought it used, and they let you bring it back after seven days, up to seven days. I don't know what you're talking about. That's but GameStop thing or something. Okay. But uh, anyway, Dude, seriously, you have to have a little bit more of an attention span. I'm in, I'm in. It takes a little while. No, there's you're rats, not. There's no. rats attacking me. This is what happened. I called Kevin. Kevin's like, I don't know about this game. I was like, Well, haven't you seen it? Like the the landscapes and stuff. And he's like, Well, I haven't been outside yet. I'm like, What? He's like, Yeah, I'm in some like tunnel. I'm in a tunnel. You like this is what happened. He like created his character. He went around. And he was like, Oh, rat! I hate this game. That's well, what dude, happened. I've had to kill like 15 freaking rats. And like you, no, no, no. Why? Do, why do rats have shit on them? Like, I raid their bodies, and rats are carrying, like, armor and, like, gold and shit. It's like, rats don't carry gold and armor and Look, shit like that. Look, if they had gold, it's because they've eaten it. If they had <laughs> armor, it's because they've eaten it. Haven't you seen a Dude. rat walking around with a big gauntlet or a greaves in his Dude. pants? You know what's going on? Bullshit. I want a real, a realistic game, and rats do not carry gold and armor on them. Dude, some rats do. No. I had a rat. He loved armor. <laughs> I had a little set for him <laughs> so he could run in his wheel and not get hurt you know you're insane it was he had a little uh, little chivas yes well awesome it's... game he is horrible <laughs> it's uh next story no but go see watch doctor who that thing is so freaking intricate it's not even funny doctor who next story all right uh second ice chunk falls <laughs> in san francisco area from a cloudless sky what the hell is this 1003 is submitted to the science category 1003 no, not not like where was this what is this <laughs> no this is this is freaky is what it is 1323 ah. people dug the story submitted by Mipmap he says the first ice chunk cre uh, created a 2 foot crater in the Oakland park the latest one busted a hole in a gym roof on a cloudless day this is freaky cuz it's bay area so like this is in the neighborhood and uh, I was reading about the story, and it's really crazy because, like, basically... It's like a ball of there ice. Are, no, no, no. There's these huge ash, like, like 
craters of ice like falling out of the sky, and nobody knows why. Nobody knows. They nobody have knows why. Out why. There's like scientists that say it's like it could be like something that came off of like a plane. plane they said yeah. it's like some kind of like uh, shitsicles or whatever. Yeah, shit like that, where it's like just like putting off like you know condensation, then it builds up into this big ball of ice. But dude, like, come on. In in like two week time frame, there's gonna be two huge ass craters of ice falling from the sky and busting through stuff. Well, first off, I think craters are what they form when they right, land. That's right. Secondly, <laughs> <laughs> secondly, very weird. My weird aura is going off. That's it, definitely sure. It's strange. But what could it be from if it's I not from a plane? Know. I, I don't I mean, know. Somebody like, up there, like, just kind of like, well, maybe maybe God's just like a little tipsy with his rum and coke, and the thing keeps popping out of his we've glass. We've had well, we've had really weird weather here the last like couple <clears throat> months. You know, it's been like raining sure. a lot. But like, come on, like this is really strange. I don't know what it was. It was an interesting story. It was in the science category, so I decided to talk about it today. So <laughs> there's, I don't have much to say other than that. What can well, you say? Well, it is weird. I mean, what? I don't know what it could be, I and I thank you for asking. But uh, <laughs> I would say. It's not happening in L.A., is it? There's no chunks of ice in L.A.? You know, not more than usual. I don't <laughs> It's not anything out of the norm of... It's, it's a really of strange thing. If another one happens, I'll be sure to let you know. But right now, it's just two. And that's not weird. It's kind of like, well, there might have been a second one. But if, there's, if this keeps Well, no, happening, there was a second one, right? Right, but if this keeps happening, it's just going to be like, what the hell? Where's it coming from? And I went through a gymnasium roof, right? I mean, it's not yeah. like this was sort of like... It pinned a crang. ground or something. What? No, I don't know. I made that up. Jesus. It sounded better now. It did. It sounded much more like this pin kid was pinned. I could just see him sort of like, Meh. Couldn't get up. Couldn't get up. Poor kid. Yes. Uh, had a lot of asthma. This next story is Miller good one. Beer is the first to use high tech cold can technology. Bam! Big fans of the cold can technology. I have no idea what it is. Uh, 974 people dug the story. Submitted by Kevin D569. Lowers temperature by 30 degrees Fahrenheit in just three minutes. A boom. This is, um, bye, Ron. <laughs> Ron's taking off. Ron's taking off. He goes, this is, the can is crazy looking. Dude, the can is crazy. It's so, like a missile. Almost. Yeah, so Tempura Technology did it, uh, and it's called Cool Tech, uh, which is a self chilling can, uses evaporation to cool a beverage. To start the cooling action, a user can twist the can base, exposing the a water-absorbing substance to uh, uh, the the gel. That's like this water. Then uh, mm. <laughs> you don't even know what you, who's leaving. Ron was that a ghost, or did Ron just not close Ron the door? Ron didn't away. So basically, so, the bottom line is it's got this like twistable base that you like twist, and it starts this reaction using based on condensation right. to instantly cool. How long does it take to cool a beer? It says it does it uh, like instantly. No. Well, it's quickly. Three minutes. That's not bad. That's, if you want, that like, is actually awesome. And see, look, it's like a tall boy. Right, but the problem is like 25% <clears throat> uh, of the device is, is uh, the beer is taken up by the device that actually cools it. So you're only getting this much fluid ounces right here, see? Yeah, so but it's kind wouldn't of a you pay for a... Can, can I get another beer by chance? Thanks, dude. Nice. Um, yeah, but you don't know like what... Uh, the apricot sounds good. Apricot, nice. You don't know, I mean, you don't know how much, one, how much it's going to cost. You know right. What I mean? it, it could, could be, be four really bucks. expensive, yeah. Or it could be 20 bucks. No, or it could be two bucks. it's not, because... It could be a buck. You're going to you buy it, you're going to buy it chilled. I mean, it, seriously, if it's like three bucks and it's sitting there, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'll just go to this one here that's already cold. And right. You, and take it out. Okay, I hear so that. So it's got to be the same, thanks, dude. It's got to be the same price as, ah, these aren't twist off. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to figure that out. <laughs> it's got to be the same price as, uh... Um, a regular tall boy. Right, exactly. Well, but, but I'm but, all for this. Well, but oh, dude, the average American drinks 22 gallons of beer annually. What? <laughs> 22 gallons. Like that's of crazy. Beer. Way too much. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm. no, I'm just, I'm just trying to think. Mm. Like, how much do oh, we, what? we should seriously like? If someone has the time, I'm curious to go back to our like average out how many beers per episode we have. I I'd what, say I do about two beers per episode. We do one episode a week, and we've been doing the show for. Coming 40, up on a year. 42 a year. weeks, right. So Coming up on I, a year. I'd say I, Although I, some of them, oh, come on. I San average Francisco, probably, live show, I, Reno. What do you think average? I average? Four? Three. Three. Three, but then three. you have those ones that are like, <laughs> where we had like nine and six right. shots of so freaking vodka or whatever, Jaeger. So that's kind of... I'd say we drink a lot. Yeah, yeah. but two, 22 gallons worth, you think? I don't know how many ounces in a gallon. Hmm. Good. We'll figure that out Glad we solved that. So, right. <laughs> uh, these will be on store shelves sometime in 2007, although they do believe it may cause cancer. 
<laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> well, beer does. Hopefully it does. That's sweet of you. Next story. Homeless man attacked by cockfight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. That was not a story. Uh, uh, what? Eight, no, we that talked about English. that. in English. Homeless man cockfight. Cock, cock, cock. <laughs> Eight-year-old car thief loves Grand Theft Auto. 1,163 people dug this story. <laughs> I'm pissed I didn't see the story. I totally would have dug it. Submitted by Zamalkarai. He says, please say an eight-year-old boy took the keys of his teacher's minivan, walked out of class, and drove away with a stolen vehicle on Monday. The kid reportedly loves Grand Theft Auto. Now it's police say, not please say. Right? Oh yeah, please. Police, right. Because the first time you read that, you were like, please say this guy <laughs> walked out of his class, no, got he did. his keys. Yeah, that's what this he is, did. This is, uh, so <sighs> here's the thing. How is You've, there a good thing? No, no, there's nothing good about this, but okay. you have always been like a proponent of saying that, that kids don't learn from video games and that they don't like... Go out and well, shoot people because of video games. Here's yes. proof positive, man. This kid stole a car First because off, he played the video game. Eight-year-old kid playing Grand Theft Auto. Something's wrong there already. I think you have to oh. be 17 to play Grand Theft Auto. Do you? Legally, yes. Okay. Scientifically, maybe not. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you have the motor functions, you could play a number of porno games. The, but it's just, I don't know. It just goes to show that some of these things, leave uh, like if you leave this to like the... You put this in the hands of young kids, and they're gonna like I agree. follow and imitate the games. I right? agree. Just like uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, Muppet Show. You see what I'm saying? You guys see where I'm going? Muppet Show. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I kind of agree and disagree. I think. What do you think? Uh, nothing. I, I think that you know, <laughs> yeah. If an eight-year-old is playing Grand Theft Auto, they may now know that you can drive a car. You know well, what I mean? No, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, you know that you can steal the keys and get in the car. Right. So he's But the what keys I'm saying is, is eight, eight year olds are not the target audience for Grand Theft Auto. Right. But do you think that, I don't know. Like, why are his parents of... letting him play Grand Theft Auto at eight years old? Well, I guess that's the problem. I'm just worried that this would somehow, like, I mean, obviously, stealing a car is, well, I don't know if it's pretty easy, but it's one of those things well, if where. Well, you have the keys. <laughs> well, it's one of those things where, like, you know. Maybe he, like, you know, somebody hits uh, somebody on the, on the playground because they saw them beating up a hooker in Grand Theft Auto. I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, sure. It, you're beating down an eight-year-old and you're like, hey, ho, where's my money? And you're hitting him on the head. Maybe that's true. It's just, Again, I say, why are the eight-year-olds playing Grand Theft Auto? That's true. You know what I mean? But what when you take the, the French approach, you know, the laissez-faire, like, sure, mm -hmm. uh, pff, what, they could give you the sushi wine if they want. Pff, what, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they don't seem to be alcoholics much. That's true. It's tricky. Well, it just comes down to the kid, I think. Well, you know what it really Look, comes down to? the guy's probably... A, it yeah. really comes down to the adult supervision. Like, yes, seriously. Or lack thereof. Hello, right. Because if a kid is stealing a car, like, there's no way. Even if I was playing that video game, I would have stole a car at, like, eight years old. Like, seriously, you have to have, like... There's something going on there at home. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, don't I know. think there totally was something going on. It's interesting, though. It was kind of funny. I was like, eh, eight-year-old stole a car. That's cool. <laughs> Good times. All right. Women has rare case of the Black Death. <laughs> 783 people. Oh, that's awesome. 783 people dug the story submitted by Red and Gold. A uh, woman is in... I wonder if he's a Delta Chi. Interesting. Uh, a woman is in stable condition with bubonic plague. That sucks. The first... Con I love that you can be in stable condition, but she has the bubonic plague. Uh, the first confirmed human case in Los Angeles County. Brr. I have to worry about the bubonic fucking plague now? Dude. Uh, since 1984. Interesting. Health officials say Tuesday, bubonic plague is to believe to have been the Black Death that killed 25 million people in Europe between 1346 and 1351. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. <clears throat> Lady gets a fever. Right. Oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe I got a fever. I should go in. Oh, my lymph nodes are being swollen. Where did she get this from? Like, well, where do here's you get the, the thing. bubonic plague? You get the bubonic plague is transferred by fleas. Ah. And it's fleas usually associated with rats. But where do the fleas get them and from? And rats? rats get the flea. The bubonic plague is all because of the golden armor that they eat. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how that's bubonic awesome. plague has started. Because there's a lot of golden armor in the Middle Ages. Right, right, right. <laughs> Okay, seriously, <laughs> the bubonic plague. Dude, those fucking rats, I hate them, dude. Why do they have shit on them? Well, they're they're smart to, rats. They're not supposed to be, you know, they, if they were wearing armor, if I was killing them and I saw they were wearing like chain armor, I'd be like, fair enough. I'm taking the armor that you're wearing, but they don't have anything on them. They, they have might, little tusks. They and eat They don't them. have tusks. They have little claws. <laughs> what are they, elephant things? No. They're like, oh, rat. They don't. Anyway, 
Long story short, woman got bit by some fleas out in, you know, L.A. County somewhere in the right. sticks. And uh, she now, got bubonic. Can she spread that to other people? No, bubonic plague is not transferable. Is and by transferable, I mean, like, you know, a gift certificate. <laughs> You get a bubonic plague, and you kind of go in, and you're like, hey, I'll trade you your bubonic for it's your not, whatever. I mean, there's no STD no. going on here. Either. There's no there's... STD. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's sexually transmitted. I don't think you there have been studies be, right? that the bubonic plague would be. But no, it is not contagious. But if untreated, it can morph into something called the pneumonic plague. Mm, what does that not exactly? the demonic plague, but the pneumonic plague. And the pneumonic plague uh, is contagious. Ah. So if bubonic is left untreated, it becomes pneumonic, and pneumonic is contagious. So what does pneumonic do, exactly? Uh, pneumonic is uh, in the chest, so it's like a respiratory thing. Hmm. I completely made that up. Lots of coughing. Cock. Thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's horrible. That's but uh, an estimated 10 to 20 Americans contract uh, the plague each year, which seems weird to me. That's not a that's That not seems that like. That doesn't seem high for the freaking no. boob de black death no. in the U.S. It's it's twenty people. It's like know. it happens. Uh, it's like scabies. <laughs> <laughs> scabies is a funny word, isn't it? It's a terrible word. Well, it's uh, scabies. So we hope her uh, quick and expeditious uh, recovers from recovers. that. All yeah, right. Uh, next story. Uh, First screens of Command and Conquer 3, 1,185 people dug the story submitted by Tino Dees. He says, seems like someone at the new PC Gamer has access to a scanner as the first screens from the game have been uploaded. So this, I'm really excited about. I was a huge Command and Conquer fan way back in the day. Yes. Play this forever. Yes. It's one of the best, uh, it's one of the best strategy uh, games. It's, it's pretty yeah. amazing. The new one looks insane. Have you seen the graphics for this? No, I haven't. I'm oh, looking it up dude. right now. Hold on. Let me pull Man. this up for you. Hold on. Command and Conquer 3. Here we go. Take a look at these graphics. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Wireless not so, doing so well here. Okay, I'll try on my PC. There we go. <laughs> and there are the screens right okay, there. Okay, scroll down. So look at these screenshots. They're pretty amazing. The graphics, no, no, you're at the wrong site. I clicked on the thing that they Ooh, said. clicked on the wrong site. Anyway, the 3D graphics, I mean, if you've played old Command and Conquers, this is truly, are they? like, well, just, just let them load. No, they're not, there's nothing loading. I clicked, that's exactly what I clicked. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, would it be news now? No, so you're going to darkzero.co.uk. What is that? I don't know, some guy. This, wait, this, no. right? Yeah, it's the same link. News. Click on it. Now redirecting Keith, the we're dark trying here. to find the link This here. is all science. He's already showing it. All right, so oh, okay. he's well, already showing it. Whatever, I anyway, haven't seen it. The graphics are amazing. Very excited about this game. When it does come out, I'm going to buy it, and I would uh, encourage you all to, because I will play you, and we will battle. I was a big Command & Conquer guy in um, in college. Do you remember when uh, Westwood Studios, it used to be produced by Westwood Studios out of Las Vegas. Yeah. And uh, it's just a great game. It's a great uh, everything about it is just it's so much fun. It was so like Warcraft fun. of the like new right. exactly Warcraft yeah. with, with tanks and with like yep. it's but the graphics I have to tell you even though you haven't seen them uh, right. amazing unbelievable I mean nice. just one of the best three D kind of landscapes and kind of rotating sideways tanks look unreal just looks really cool nice. it's gonna be a great game well hopefully it'll be ported over to the three sixty nope that'd be fun wouldn't it oh uh, no it's it, those these games aren't meant for the three sixty. Like you can't play strategy games where you have to like control like entire groups and fleets of like tanks with well, like first a off, a 360, like the, uh, 360 can have a keyboard and a mouse. Oh, fair enough. Then I guess it is meant for 360. There you go. Uh, Indian telemarketer is having nervous breakdown due to verbal abuse. This is what goes in the file of who gives a crap. Uh, 1,695 people dug the story submitted by Z Merlin. Workers in India are having nervous breakdowns after being abused by fed-up Australians, but they aren't getting much sympathy. Quote, some companies are regretting outsourcing their business to India because of the damage it does to their product's reputation. Finally. Uh, do, I know. you got to feel bad for, you know, these... Well, first off, telemarketers, wherever they exist, get freaking yelled at. Right, I don't think I've ever a, been nice to a, a telemarketer. This is more like a these support Indian... calls, though, right? It's no, no, really... no, 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 no. It's tell I've heard that it's abused by... You're just saying... Uh, right I am... <laughs> <laughs> nothing there. So, well, if it... In, oh, here's the deal. If it is... Not telemarketing. If it's support centers, right, right. then I feel bad for those poor it Indians. It is support centers. But if it's if it's telemarketers, I have no time, people. No, I can understand telemarketing, but 
but but these poor support people like they they just get hammered on well it is i have to say it's a little hard and here's the thing it's it's it, somebody it's like if somebody is at let's say uh, i'm just gonna make it up dell my computer breaks i call dell right. support okay india if I know that they're in India, I assume they have absolutely no connection to the corporation that is Dell. Why? Because they're in frickin' India. Right. Dell's based in, like, Oregon. No. Isn't it? No. <laughs> Keith, Keith looks like the wizened old man. He's, like, sitting in a chair, and I'm like, isn't it in Oregon? And he looks at me and goes... <laughs> like, like he's like <laughs> Keith, Keith pimp like that dude he is, he's, How he's chill just Chilling in the chair How like this chill. He's just watching it Does it have to be To sit in a chair <laughs> Put headphones on And just sit there in his back mm. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome Don't know move on The magic comes out of Yes, yeah, the magic does. That is in. awesome. Anyway, so Keith obviously doesn't know, but but you know, I mean, I'm like, hey, dude, I know you're not sitting there. I know you can't go to the marketing department and be like, hey, marketing department. Well, sure, it's a phone call away, and yeah, they could pick up the phone and call, but it, mentally, something does feel different, especially when it's like, hello, my name is Bob. No, I do. No, no, that. they actually have really good American accents. Like can... most of them, but some of yeah. them are new, and they're like, hello, my name is Bob. What can your yeah, problem but... be? But the thing is, is that and I got nothing against Indians. That's that's love me some Indians. That's Dell. Have you ever been with a an Indian chick? Yeah. Not in that sense. What in, well, in what sense? Then? I think I made out with one in college. How was that? Good. Well, she's enough. just like every other girl that I made out with in college, <laughs> pretty much. I haven't either. What do you mean you haven't either? That's just one I've yet to tap. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't mean. I, I don't mean tap like hit it. No, dude, I love on. that you have a list. No. I love that you have a I list. <laughs> um, dude, you suck. Egyptian. <laughs> I no, I don't have a list. That is awesome. I don't have a list. <sighs> there is a lot of women I have not. There are. Yes, there, there, there are. There I'm are. sure there are a lot of women you have yet to sleep with. No, you. But they're all you are worse than me. How did that happen? I don't know. I just did. I dated a girl I thought was Egyptian. See, I have not hooked up with any girl, and you have. You didn't tap that. I, although my friend. <laughs> That's the one time I haven't tapped. Is I think what you said. Well, yeah, but I have. My friend lives in New Delhi, right? My friend Raj. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about this. No, go, Raj. Lives well, in New Delhi. Just saying, well, he's just telling me he's like. So he spent a lot of time in the U.S., right? It's yes. A, uh, it's like he came out here for college. He grew up in, in India. And he was just telling me, like, the, the girls in India just aren't as experienced as the U.S. girls. They just don't really kind of, like, mm. have the same know-how. <laughs> well, now that's unfortunate for poor Raj. Well, I mean, he's got a great... It's actually really crazy. <laughs> he's, he's married and he, she's very... His, his wife, his, his, uh, his marriage was arranged, which is kind of crazy. Ooh. Yeah. That, that they doesn't still do that. set with me. I don't know. It's I mean, kind of a, I could barely... Like, there are girls that I dated that I didn't even want to be with, and I chose them. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let alone some, like, here's your new wife. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Well, he could have really backed out if he really, really well, wanted to. Well, but then there's a whole pressure right, and all Right, right, exactly. Stuff. The families were kind of putting pressure on it. But anyway... Yeah, that's tough. Uh... Well, uh, yes. let us know. We will keep up you up to date on whether um, Kevin don't taps an Indian. It. Dude, I'm so. not. I don't need to. <laughs> like, that's why you do? No. <laughs> You're like, oh, God, I guess I got to tap an Indian. <laughs> like, what? Dude, can we move on? Uh, you started this whole Indian no, tapping. No, I didn't. I'm, I meant, by tap, I did not mean what you think I meant. I meant like... I don't even know what you meant. I meant like, like hooked up me, with. Excuse me, Miss Indian. <laughs> That's tapping in I guess I've tapped an Indian now. All right. You... You're missing out, though, I will say. She was a very good makeout lady. Who? Which one? The lady I made out with in college whose name escaped me. <laughs> All right, you're up next. Moving on to sponsors back. I don't know why that was so exciting. Uh, GoDaddy.com, your number one source for all your internet needs. GoDaddy.com has new domain names, transfers, renewals as low as $1.99. That's crazy. Plus, check out their hosting plans, website builders, secure certificates, and much, much more. Plus, enter the code DIGG, that's D-I-G-G. When you check out, get an additional 10% on your order. Get your piece of the internet, GoDaddy.com. What do they mean by new domain names? That you can create runs. <laughs> what the hell? No, I meant like new, 
Does it mean like new extensions or like? No, like mynutsack.com uh, <laughs> is not up now. I think that is actually, go to there. Is it, is it free? No, well, it's not going there. That's just bad. You're reading the next one. Next sponsor is, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, the next sponsor is Bartaby. It's B-A-R-T-E-R-B-E. -E. It's being camped. What is? Oh, it's being camped, yes. It's B-A-R-T-E-R-B-E-E.com. This is actually pretty cool because... This is really cool. I'm so that we're doing we this. Had, we had the sponsor come to us and they were like, uh, you know, here's our servers. Here's what we offer. Yep. Uh, we want you to check us out. Tell me what you think. So here's what you do. Basically, if you have like a CD or a DVD... Or, or anything at all. Is it anything at all? Anything it's, it's at all. It's mostly like CDs, video CDs, like video game CDs, DVDs, stuff like that, yeah. that you want to get rid of. You place it on Bartaby, kind of like an eBay auction, right? Yes. And you say like... I want to assign it this many points value. So this, these point system are kind of like uh, it's, 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 it's kind of like cash. It's yeah, user, it's user defined. defined. So you say like you know I'm gonna uh, sell this DVD for ten points, right? right? And somebody. So basically, what you have to do is like let's say you put your DVD collection online. So you right. put four or five different DVDs online. You assign ten points each. Every time you sell one, you get ten points. So let's say right. you get like forty points collected, right? Right. Then you can look online and say, okay, what else do they have for sale that is for forty points? So it's almost like you're not, not selling, cash. you're trading it's kind with of people. trading, but there's a point system that's involved, so, so you, you don't can have to trade worry about away, cash. And you can trade away your stuff, cultivate, you know, like cultivate your points stuff, and then trade for a bigger thing. So you can trade exactly. like 10 DVDs to 10 different people for one really cool item from one right. guy. So there's not really any cash involved. So yeah. say you traded a couple of your DVDs for 20 points, and then you found Oblivion that you want to buy for 20 points. Right. It would just be an equal exchange, and they charge like a dollar fee Rather than like eBay's like really high right, fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, it is cool. It's it's something new. Uh, it's yes. something I haven't seen before. <laughs> if you want to do it and you want to get f a we ten, you up yeah, with a special. Yes, we got. Uh, they're actually going to hook us up with every new member that signs up through Dignation gets ten points free. Yeah. And you get a couple free transactions, so you don't have to pay that dollar fee or anything like that. I'm so you can't lose. Right you, you basically get like. Are you really going to sign up right I am because I have so many old DVDs I do. and shit. I have a lot of old DVDs and like old books right and stuff. I would love to trade them for new DVDs I haven't seen, for books. And they were even saying that you could think of it as like Netflix. Right. You know what I mean? Because if you have an old DVD and you're like, oh, I've seen this, you can trade it to somebody. They'll give you the points for it. And, and then, then you, you can go else. and get a new DVD yeah, cool. you've never seen for points and then keep going and you haven't paid anything a month. Right. So anyway, go to uh, bartaby.com slash dignation. That's B A R T E R B E E dot com slash dignation. And you will get that deal where you get yeah. 10 free points. And if anything, just go sign up and like buy something. Like get it You know for what free. we should do what? just to start the ball rolling? What? Let's uh, let's grab like an old DVD. You grab an old DVD, I'll grab an old DVD and I'll grab it. Oh, that's cool. And put it up. I just kind of get I it. just gave Dan a ton of my DVDs. Well, whatever. We'll just grab maybe we'll go we'll go get something. We'll autograph it and put it up on Barterby just to, to get the get the party started. You know what's really weird is my well, my roommate Dan has a bunch of Spice Girl stuff. Is that weird? It would be weird if I didn't know Dan. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. He's, he's, but he's got like because he's very into the British thing. Yeah, but eight, eight Spice Girl CDs. And all right, sort now of that I didn't know. Uh, Cashfly.com. Thanks for Cashfly for handling all of Dignation's distribution. Go to Cashfly.com/dignation or use coupon code Dignation when you sign up, and you'll get your first month absolutely free. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do some emails. I got a great one. <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Here from Daniel Ramirez. Valdez, uh, and it says Chupa equals suck, Cabra equals goat, Chupacabra equals goat blood sucker. Where did they get the blood from? This, I don't know, that's uh, implied. Mm -hmm. This thing is believed to be most active in Puerto Rico rather than Latin America. <sighs> Dude, we've been talking about this for a Is there a Chupacabra? There is, there is, it totally there, is. It but really now is. one thing I will no, say. being dead serious. He said, is I, really? yes, there is. It's, I mean, it's like a you know, mythical creature that, that does live. I live in Mexico, and I've never seen one, nor my family or friends. It's some kind of myth. No, that's bullshit. Um, there, would, there would be a Discovery show on it, and they'd be like, Chupacabra. There have been Discovery shows on Chupacabra. Do they show pictures of it? Well, nobody's seen a picture of it. It's like See, Bigfoot. That's... It's like Bigfoot. Chupacabra yeah, but... equals well, Mexican Bigfoot. Bigfoot is BS. Don't you talk about Bigfoot like that. Dude, people put the feet on, and they walk around, and they're like, eh, Whoa, tracks. you don't believe in Bigfoot? The guy that died... Just before he was about to die, he said, I was the guy wearing the Bigfoot costume. Dude, if I was going to die, I'd probably say I was the Bigfoot costume no. guy. Hey, dude, you've heard of that guy. Do you believe in Nessie? Yes. Are you serious? I've always wanted to go to Loch Ness. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes. 
Are you serious? I think there's some stuff that we haven't so been able to touch. Weird. Dude, I haven't, I'm not talking about tapping all the different races, and I'm weird. <laughs> I didn't. Prayer quit. Prayer's laughing and he can't control it. I know a couple that you tap. I do, I do not tap at random. Well, it's not like you're at a bus station. You just Dude, you, tap somebody and leave. You have had some tapping action yourself, Mr. Yes, Albert. I have, and I'm a very healthy male. Anywho, All right. uh, <laughs> thank you, Daniel Ramirez. Congratulations on your show. This is a really interesting email. Means. Hey, guys. Thought I'd share a picture of my girlfriend, Tara. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I with Dignation shirts. I got her hooked on your podcast, and now she is as big a fan as I am. Nice. The problem is she won't stop telling me how cute Kevin is because ah. she thinks we have a few similarities. So you be the judge. I just uh, am glad that she doesn't look like Alex. Keep up the good work. Steven from Mesa, Arizona. He's so, glad that she doesn't look like me. I'm glad that she doesn't look like There's a picture. Look, look like at her. Is oh, she's she, a cutie. She is cute. She's pointing at her boobies. She is pointing at her boobies, and that's <laughs> well, a good that, picture in my That was from, what was it from? She's pointing at her boobies. What was it from? <laughs> uh, your brain two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> no! It was, uh, Wait, where did I hear that before? She's pointing oh, at her boobies. No, 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 no. It was, ah, uh, oh, come on. He was on Saturday Night Live, and he did this. Anger Man. Anger Man. He did that. Have you not watched it? So anyway, movies? so this guy, uh, he kind of looks, kinda like, looks you, like you, but like not me. really. He's got the 17 inch. Uh, he's got a Mac and dark hair. <laughs> he's got the 17 inch Mac, which is, you know, trying to compensate for something. But uh, oh. no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. He's, <laughs> he's a nice viewer. And oh, that poor guy's never watching our show again. She's still, she'll still she, watch. She's cute. Isn't she cute? <laughs> yeah, she's a cutie. She yeah. looks like someone I know. Who? Uh, I'll tell you off the show. Uh, tell me. What? Tell me who. She looks like an ex-girlfriend of mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wait, how long ago? Uh, six years. Hmm. I thought you had. I thought you did an Asian girl before the last girl. I did, but it took. <laughs> She's so drunk. No. I did, but that was before her. I dated this other girl who was a ah. researcher. Oh, she's cute. Ah, she's so yes, I am like a pirate. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's it for this week's edition of Dignation. If you want to email us, please email us your pictures of you or your girlfriend, whatever. Yes, uh, to dignationfans at gmail.com. That's mm -hmm. dignation, F A N S. Yes. At gmail.com. And, oh, and we got to say, uh, if you want to check out some of these stories, especially that Mont Blanc story, which is kind of cool, you can make your own pin. Uh, check out everything that we've dug at dig.com slash users slash dignation. You'll see all mm. the stories there every single week dug in order. Yes, and you can also check out what we've been dug digging throughout the week. <laughs> I am <laughs> dugging uh, dig.com slash users slash Alex Albrecht and dig.com slash users slash Kevin Rose. Until next time, we welcome you. <laughs> 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 Until next time, we welcome you We're supposed to, end this to like... watch again. <laughs> Dude, will you guys quit? I right. think I just choked on my own snarl. All right. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Dig Nation. We will see you next week. I'm Alex Albright. I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time. Chupacabra. Ah, it's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Developers, 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 developers.